All right, well, tonight there is another big problem, and this is for those who are gutting their flooded homes. Where will they stay? And where have they been staying? Hotels, apartments, rental homes, friends' homes? That could get tiresome. Eyewitness <laughs> News reporter Steve Campion live now from Bel Air to talk about what can be done right now if you've got this problem. Steve? Art, the best takeaway I can give everyone out there watching right now who may find themselves in this situation, act quickly. Harvey is putting a tremendous demand on short-term housing options here in the city for good reason. Take a look at all this debris. When people are forced to gut their homes and they've stayed maybe a little bit longer with family members than they'd like, they often go searching for other options. The good news, there's still time to act. We hope by tomorrow afternoon that it will be available. It is an app that no matter where you're at in the state of Texas, if you've been affected by Hurricane Harvey, you will be able to search for homes on there. This evening, Har says it's just a matter of hours before they launch an app to help people with short-term housing needs following Hurricane Harvey. The feature will allow people to search for rentals lasting from one week to 90 days. Har tells me right now, they're still trying to figure out how Harvey has impacted Houston's housing market. The numbers are not in yet. Um, do we believe it's supply and demand? Absolutely. The Houston Apartment Association says before Harvey, there were 70,000 vacant units. They estimate at least 5% received damage in the flood. They're currently surveying owners to get a sense of what's still out there. Inside the Providence at Memorial apartment complex, the owners say, there's a wait list. We've seen a pretty dramatic and quick uptick in applications, uh, pretty close to 200 new applications uh, just in the last few days across our portfolio. Across their 29 properties in Houston, there's still availability. The reality, when federal short-term hotel vouchers run out, things might get a little more tricky. Houston was a little bit oversupplied market before, but with the units that are down because of flood, it's gonna become a tighter market now. In RML, the numbers do back that up. Within the past hour, we heard from apartmentdata.com. They say after Allison, Katrina, Rita, and Ike, across the Houston area, we saw rent go up by about 6%. So really, time is ticking if you want to sign a lease. In terms of other options, Airbnb have have deployed their disaster relief program. They say that there's still about a thousand homes left here in the Texas area, but the big problem is here in Houston, they have filled up. They're still looking for volunteers. We're live at five in Bel Air, Steve Campion, 13 Eyewitness News. So much heartache for so many folks. Thank you, Steve.